Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials off 1,077, NASDAQ off 641, S&P's off 170. Gold, gold contract down $22.50, trading at 2,447 an ounce. We have silver down at buck thirteen, twenty-seven dollars twenty-five cents an ounce. Late sweet crude, flat, seventy-three dollars thirty-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note flat, one fourteen oh five. Thirty-year up seventeen at one twenty-five nineteen. And king dollar, king dollar right now trading down five eleven, one oh two six ninety-seven euro one oh nine. Yen, 143. British pound, 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to bring up... Uh, it doesn't matter which one I bring up first. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Bring up the S&Ps first. And I'll show you where we're at here. So... When you take a look at this, right, what you're going to see is this, folks, okay? Now, coming off the lows this morning, you know, depending on, you know, how many cycles you've been going through, I mean, this was a buy. No two ways about it, especially if you're a trader, okay? Um, and it really went great, okay? Right up to the last, well, not right up, okay? The bottom line is that you, you, had, you had the juice going with you, you had the volume going with you. And then when we took out the swing, that's when the volume dropped off dramatically. Now, bottom line is it will come all the way back to last time we had volume. That being said, I'm telling you, I would be going long or shot. I mean, I was long and shot all day long out here. Well, I quit at 11 o'clock this morning. I think it was 11. Yeah, money was made by 11. Anyway, bottom line is that now what you have is this. Now you're coming back to that area. It's going to waffle around this whole area. That's what it's going to do. Up, down, all around, you know. Um, the volatility is nice. There's no two ways about that because the bottom line, whether, you know, it moves so fast, as long as you're moving fast at the same time, there's lots of opportunity here. That being said, now let's go into the NQs. You're going to see the NQs the same way. One second. Pull this up here. So we take a look at the NQs. Exact same type of setup. Comes all the way back. Right, bingo, right here. That's the number. Well, see, the NQs haven't come all the way back there yet. That's still going to come back. It, the NQs came to the, the second volume spike. That volume spike there was, uh, what, 17899 But we're not done yet. <laughs> this will come all the way down here. Now, now let's tr figure out, okay... When you get something like this, what normally happens is this, folks. The, the, the first day, first couple of hours are easier because the fear is so dramatic, okay? Then it gets a lot harder because the, the question is now, okay, we have a high volume low. It's like, okay, what is going to be the emphasis, not emphasis, that's the wrong word. What is going to be the deal to buy? Okay, who, who's going to really buy but we'll get, we're going to get some kind of a bounce. There's no doubt about that, okay? The real question is, is that do we go test the lows first? Because this is a high-volume low now. Okay, you get a high-volume low. Bottom line, it's going, to get, it's going to get tested, man. We go to the Qs. Now, the Qs are going to do more than $75 million. That high-volume low that we're going after, well, we got it in one day. <laughs> well, we don't get the whole thing in one day, but just about. The high-volume low, the high of that low is 422. Yeah, we may say it's 423. And what you're going to see here... You're at 69 million, 75 is the number. It's going to be more than 75, so that means you're going to get tested. Real kicker is, is that, okay, what kind of a bounce you're going to get before that test comes in? We go to the note and bond market. So the note and bond market right now, here, let's do this. WB, uh, the 10-year right now, 3.76. 
Now, there's no, there's no doubt. The thing, you know what the thing that's amazing, too, what blows my mind? You know that, okay, so the Fed's been holding off, holding off, holding off, right? And, you know, of course, that economy-wise, the bottom line is that, yeah, it keeps squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. What does happen, I, I brought this up Friday, as soon as the market goes down, okay, the, the Fed claims that, no, 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 the market, they don't pay that much attention to the market. Well, guess what? It's a bunch of BS, folks, okay? As soon as the market gets hit like this and, and it gets hit worldwide, bang, they get out on rates in about two seconds. Now what's going on is that when you take a look at the futures market inside the bond market, they're pushing a half a percent cut in September. Well, I can tell you something. You get a few more days like this, which you absolutely can, because you remember that July 18th date, and I brought it up a lot of different times here, man. I always remember this date because that was the agent contagion. And once you start breaking in July, this turns into a real razor blade in the way down. And you can't expect real buy-in until October, November, and now we get an election, it's probably November, okay? So you're, gonna, you're talking August, September, October, high volatility. So make sure you're placed where you want to be. That's, that's, the real, that's the real kicker here. We take a look at, uh, oh, last night. So last night, <laughs> this was a trip. This is a trip in itself. You talk about Wall Street just selling anything and everything. Last night on Bloomberg, right, folks? So picture this. I'm, I'm talking with a couple of the Tigers. You know, we're going back and forth. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to stay out of the market. And thank God I stayed out of the market till this morning. I flattened out on Friday night. But anyway, to make a long story short, what happened is that Wall Street was out with gangbusters on Apple. And so listen to, listen to what a couple of these were. A couple of these... Uh, you know, banks are saying, oh, it doesn't matter that, you know, Buffett just sold this many shares of, of Apple. Apple's still going up. It's like I was looking like, oh, man, what a trip this is. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.